Welcome back to the Jones Zone, guys. Uh, this one's going to be about a new age ideology called Christ Consciousness. As some of you may know, I was raised Christian, but turned away from the faith uh, for a while. I got into the new age and astrology and Eastern mysticism and all that for a time. And so what I'm going to tell you is coming from uh, experience. So what is Christ Consciousness? In short, it's a New Age mysticism in which the practitioners are taking the Word of God and rather than reading into them literally when they should be, they want to interpret everything metaphorically. And that's where things really start to go off the rails. And that's because everything in the Bible is not meant to be interpreted metaphorically. Now, some things are supposed to be interpreted metaphorically or as a parable, like in John Chapter 6, verse 54 through 58. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers who ate manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. Okay, now, this doesn't mean that Jesus was literally a loaf of bread walking around. No, he's saying that his word is spiritual sustenance, that those who believe in him and abide in him to do the will of the Father will have everlasting life. If you have a relationship with Christ after you die, you will go to heaven. But Christ's consciousness people want to insist that the teachings of Jesus is an allegory about developing one's spiritual self and attaining some godhood state of oneness with everything. That's getting into Eastern mysticism, the Kabbalah and all that, which is not the word of God. Okay. No, it's not about you reaching a spiritual level of consciousness or some kind of spiritual ascension whereby you come to a realization that you're your own God. It's not about that. That is the doctrine of devils. That is Satanism in disguise. It's about acknowledging that Jesus Christ is literally the Son of God, and that He is God in the flesh, and that He died for your sins and was resurrected on the third day. You must confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe that He died on the cross for your sins, and you will be saved. But saved from what? Going to hell. We're talking a literal place of fire and brimstone and eternal suffering. There's no spiritual state of consciousness that can save you from hell, but only in being conscious that Jesus is the way to salvation. And for all you Christians who are weary on the path of the Lord, and you find the way to be too difficult, don't, don't fall for this Christ consciousness stuff. Don't allow the doctrine of devils to persuade you from the Lord. I know it's hard to live a sinless life where you have to forsake yourself every day and, and live for God. But whatever you do, do not turn away from the faith. Remember, narrow is the way that leads to life. So you have to endure until the end. Alright? That's all I have for you guys. Stay blessed.